This is Brian DM82 with the video on Moonlander, my game that I made in processing for TI's Kronos, and the launch pad with Aneron's booster pack. Whenever you first start, just select your COM port that the module is connected to, and then start the watch in ACC mode. You know, I'll tell you the watch address and just click pound. The high scores here currently all saved to a text file in the same uh, folder as the game itself. The background, just flat black with white dots representing stars. The moon surface is gray with random angles going all the way across. Collision detection is done using uh, colors actually. I didn't use um, bricks or any type of other bounds. Um, this little alien right here, that's his only only time he shows up in the game. I want to I wanna have him uh, a little more active and be able to like set him on fire through levels or have him jump on the ship or something. Now it's starting me at level 10 because um, the first few levels are pretty easy. That alien up there, he randomly spawns um, more often at later levels. You can't kill him at all. He just, uh, if you fly into him, you blow up. And if he shoots you, you blow up, obviously. The flames are tinted more red. The further you tilt the watch, you also go faster. It also pans left and right through the stereo volume. In the bonus level, you ain't, um, there's no gravity pulling you down. You just float around trying to dodge asteroids. That little icon right there um, originally had a bug that would um, that would show up because because it was detecting colors for collisions it's looking for a gray for the asteroids and sometimes uh, I used to have the icon spinning and sometimes it would um, spin and actually have that same color gray in it and, you know, as soon as you pick it up, you blow up because you think you ran into an asteroid. Anytime the game loses connection, it'll pause it and tell you that the connection is disrupted. If it misses, like, uh, I think anywhere from 3 to 10 packets, it's going to warn you. That alarms for my low fuel. It's not the most exciting game in the world, but it's kind of fun being able to play it with the watch. And uh, a lot more difficult than using a remote or something like that. I originally made this game for uh, a calculator back when I was uh, still in high school, I think. Whenever you die in the bonus levels, it doesn't take away your lives either. And the background music just loops. And the flame, the flame sounds are generated white noise. Um, they vary on how far you uh, move the watch. If you run out of fuel, you just drop and inevitably blow up, unless you're really lucky. One time, I thought it might be possible to actually land on that spaceship up there. I don't know if I've ever tried to do that. 
Because actually, his little globe thing that's over his head, that's actually the same color as the moon. So I'm thinking it might actually be possible to land on his head. I don't know. If it is, I'll probably never be able to do it. 